Today's creative world is film. When it comes to success, the key ingredient is passion. Uh, if passion. you don't believe in what you're doing, if you don't like what you're doing, mm -hmm. then it's always going to put a limiter on the effort that you put in. Mm. So passion needs to fuel you. It, right. You move different when you're passionate about something. So when you do things, whether it's martial arts or not, look for things that feed your imagination. Look for things that inspire you. That breeds passion and that will change everything you do. So you three are the co-founders of Martial Club, right? That is yes, correct. Sir. Mm -hmm. Could you demonstrate some movements, if you don't mind? Oh, a little demonstration. Oh, <laughs> <a little demonstration. laughs> Wait for this. Magic word. Awesome. Let's go. Yeah. So. 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 Wow, that was so amazing, guys. Super cool, super cool. So I would like to learn some of them, but I know it's really hard. But easy stuff, could I learn? And also, we have, you know, some of our interns. Could we just join you and then could you teach us some easy stuff? Of course. Is that okay? I think we got just the thing. All right, yeah, cool. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Okay, so we're going to do the whole sequence together. I'll go, uh, I'll go about it step by step in detailed explanation, and then we'll learn to put it together in counts, okay? So first, feet together, hands at your waist, punch up, punch down, and over, block low, block high, punch, block high, punch. How's that? Yeah? Yeah! All right, all right. So now I'm gonna condense it to one, two, three, one, two, three. So first, you can watch the three of us. It'll be one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? You guys think you can follow that? I'll try. All right. <laughs> That's the attitude. Yes, you can, right? All right. Okay, let's try it, okay? So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. Whoa, it's fast. It is fast. It is fast. It is fast. So we'll do the same thing. I'll slow it down, okay? Got it. So one more time, right? Hands together. Uh, I mean, feet together, hands at your waist. Punch up. Two, three, one, two, three. How was that? Not too bad? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's coming. It's coming, right? So martial arts is about repetition. It doesn't come overnight. It's about work that you put in over time. Got it. So give it the time it needs, and something will come out of it. Got it. 
Okay? So, one more time. Yep. Okay, so. All, all together. All together. All together. Let's do it. So, how about do it. this? There's the one, two, three. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Uh -huh. So, when I call hit, go one, one two, three. Whoa, okay. So, one hit is all three, right? Hit. One, two, three. Hit. One, two, three. Right? You think we can try that? Yep. Okay. <laughs> let's yeah. try it. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. All right. Hands at your waist. Feet together. And hit. Thank you very much. Do you guys have fun? Hopefully you tried it with us at home and uh, see what it does for you. Hi, my name is Lisa Komio and I'm a Creative World intern. Today we are here at Shaolin Temple Kung Fu School in Lomita, California. This school was established in 1991 at 30 years and it is the oldest martial arts school in the South Bay area. The school is currently run by Master Manuel Marquez. Now, let's meet our guests. Hi, so this is Brian. So Brian, how do you keep your body so healthy? Healthy, okay. So, um, I'll just speak from personal experience. There's actually a lot of maintenance work that has to be done. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, to the even to the average person, all the way to like an extreme athlete, I think something that's commonly overlooked is the prehabilitation and the, and the rehabilitation process, actually. Mm -hmm. um, let's say, for example, uh, like like someone with like a, a with like a normal desk job, right? They'd be sitting all day. They start, you know, and, and their lumbar is compressed all day. Mm -hmm. They start developing lumbar kyphosis where they start to round their backs, and that eventually I mean, messes up your hip, all the way to your ankles. And all of a sudden, you're, and you're limping, you know. Mm -hmm. And imagine, you know, for the everyday athlete, there's more maintenance work that has to be done. So I think the main thing is the pre prehabilitation and rehabilitation exercises. Just going through all the mobility and all the stretching that needs to be done in the everyday movement. Mm -hmm. And especially for the, I've said this already, <laughs> especially for the everyday athlete, there's more that has to be done along with their training. So let's say for a punch, for example, right? Mm -hmm. If we're doing a punch, right, mm -hmm. for a martial artist, there's so many joints and ligaments and muscles that are utilized. Let's say mm -hmm. for your bicep, right? Mm -hmm. You're doing this motion all day. Mm -hmm. And it can be overlooked, you know, it's, mm -hmm. you know a punch can mm -hmm. be, overlooked, but there's so much that goes on, let's say for your bicep, right? Mm -hmm. This can be overstrained if your muscles are not as um, as conditioned and as developed as your tendons and joints, then mm -hmm. you, can, you can have a severe injury. So that's why conditioning your muscles, working out, lifting, stretching, I believe all those things are important. Thank you. So my second question yes. is, being on set must be so dangerous. Have you ever felt scared at any point? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, yes. There was this one particular stunt. I'm not really allowed to say which set or which production I worked on. Of course. But I did receive a severe head concussion where I was sent to the hospital. I don't remember a thing, but um, mm -hmm. from what I knew, uh, I was doing a, a wire gag where they had a wire behind me and mm -hmm. this is full on fight scene. Right. And I was yanked, right? <laughs> and I and it's not anyone's fault. It's just a freak accident. I tripped, something happened to the wire, whatever. Mm -hmm. I hit my head on a thing and um, you know, I think along the journey there will be a lot of bumps and bruises, but it comes down to how much you love it and how much you want to fight for it. And yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so this is Andy. Hi, Andy. Hello. So my first question is, where do you get inspiration for your choreography? Um, so it, it, the answer really depends. If it's a passion project, I will base it off of what I'm genuinely feeling. Um, so if I'm genuinely feeling like uh, so let's, I'll, I'll pull an example, uh, Fist of Fury, right? We do a Fist of Fury homage. Um, Fist of Fury is about a martial artist who's the underdog and mm -hmm. feels like he has something to prove. So when he comes in, he has this energy of vengeance and he wants to, he takes out um, the, all the bad guys. Mm -hmm. So when we did that, uh, when we did our Fist of Fury homage, I wanted to feel that energy. When we, how, any move I chore we choreograph, that I want the audience to be able to feel like behind this punch is all my pain. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes that's a more heavy one. Sometimes lighthearted mm -hmm. is good. And sometimes uh, like Jackie Chan style, uh, he, there's an obstacle. He needs to get from uh, this end of the marketplace to that end of the marketplace, but he's losing his clothes. And so while he's losing his clothes, it, um, he has to find objects to cover himself. And like in the movie, um, 
accidental spy. So th there's an obstacle and there's always a story being told mm -hmm. uh, for the choreography. And, and sometimes we just want to just have fun and we'll just go wild with our ideas and just montage style. So it really depends on the style of the film and the story we want to tell. And uh, you know, the choreography is a supplement to kind of tell that story. I see. So my second question would be, what was the most difficult stunt that you've ever done? The most difficult stunt I've ever done was actually in this building. Um, we, we dressed the place up to look like a restaurant and there was this one shot where I did a stunt fall. It was a, I get kicked off the table, I do a front flip and a half onto my face onto another mm -hmm. table, a breakaway table, and the table breaks and everything, mm -hmm. chopsticks, everything flying around. Um, so we did that stunt. I did it, I practiced it. I went in mm -hmm. the gym, I practiced it on mats and everything, everything was fine, I had it all calculated. And on the day of the shooting, when the cameras are rolling, the energy is a bit higher. Mm -hmm. So instead of, so as performing it, I, I try to perform it as I calculated it in mm -hmm. practice, but because the energy is higher, your body doesn't move the same. You're under a, a lot of adrenaline. Mm -hmm. So I jumped higher than I thought, and so I missed the table. Oh. And so my face hit the edge of the table. Mm -hmm. And I looked at the take, I'm like, I only hit the edge of the table, it's not dangerous enough. Thousand take mentality, right? Mm -hmm. Let's do it again. We've taken, we had two breakaway tables. Mm -hmm. We sit in the second table, and then uh, we do the stunt again. This time, I'm, I come in with this mentality of, I'm gonna smash my face in the center of that table and it's gonna look painful and I want the audience to feel the chaos when I land. And so, um, we have the, if we have the clip, if you watch it, I did it. We did it in slow motion. One front flip and a half, my face went first to the middle of the table and bam! Right, and, and the table collapsed in half and I came out with a big like scar mm. here. Um, mm. I needed to go to the hospital to get it stitched up, but mm -hmm. before we did that, we needed to finish the shooting day. And mm -hmm. I was stubborn. I didn't want to go to the hospital. I'm like, hey, just tape it up and we'll just finish up the last four shots and then I'll go to the hospital. And so we just, you know, we just like poured water on it, cleaned out all the blood, taped it up uh, with a band aid, and just did the shots. I'm hiding the band aid while I'm fighting. And then after we were done, I hopped onto the car and then uh, one of our friends took me to the hospital. and. Yeah, that is the that is the martial arts spirit in filmmaking. I see. Thank you so much, Andy. Yeah, thank you for having me. Hi, Daniel. So this is Daniel. Hi. So where do you get the motivation to keep on going? Well, uh, I would say I I subscribe to one core belief, and that mm -hmm. is life is rolling upstream, not to advance, is to fall back. Mm -hmm. So with that mentality, I must always push forward. And if I give up, I'm going to fall back. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, it's okay to take breaks, but mm -hmm. I always do it knowing that I'm doing it for myself. I'm trying to build myself into a better version of myself. Mm -hmm. But I also do it for the people who came before me because mm -hmm. I stand on the shoulder of giants. People poured their lives in order to get me where I am. And I also do it for the people that I hope to inspire mm -hmm. because I know that if I do anything of worth or meeting, it's going to inspire somebody else. Mm -hmm. So with them in mind and with the people who came before me and for myself, I keep going. I see. So my second question would be, do you have any other passions other than martial arts? Well, yes. I Because martial arts has affected me so, I apply the martial mentality to everything. So anything I do is martial arts in that sense. But I really love to cut hair. Mm -hmm. I cut my own hair. I like to cut hair from my friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, I find that if you get yourself to look as best as you can with your hair, mm -hmm. it affects what you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if I can do that for other people, mm -hmm. then I'd love to do that. But just as much as cutting hair, I love public speaking. Mm -hmm. So any chance I have to speak on a stage, uh, any chance I have to engage a, a wide audience, mm -hmm. I like to do the best that I can and I mm -hmm. treat it as an art and a craft just as much as martial arts. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you Daniel so much for having us. It was such a pleasure being here and hearing your interesting story. Thank you for inviting us. The pleasure was all ours. Thank you for coming. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Wait, wait. There's part two. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.